File test 7. Listening 2. Welcome back, and up next is our weekly well-being corner. And with me now is Chris, our resident health and lifestyle expert, who's going to tell us some simple tricks for making ourselves feel better when we're down. So, Chris, is it really that simple to cheer ourselves up when we're having a bad day? Well, yes, it is, actually. The first thing I'd say is that most people have problems with internal dialogue. That little voice in your head that says to you, oh, you'll never be able to do that, or you'll fail. This is very damaging. We need to watch out for it and not allow it to affect our decisions about things. It's all about being more positive. That makes sense, I suppose. What else can we do? One of the first things we all need to think about is our sleep. Oh? Do you mean we're probably not getting enough sleep? It's more about how we sleep than how much, actually. We should make sure that we're ready for sleep when the time comes to go to bed, and that means spending time winding down beforehand. You know, just relaxing and giving our brain a chance to slow down. People who have trouble getting to sleep should try sleeping in different rooms in the house or take a hot bath before bedtime. Right. Another thing that's important is laughter. You've heard the saying, laughter is the best medicine, I'm sure. Of course. Well, there's a lot of truth in that saying. Laughing really improves our mood, so if you're having a bad day, just act silly once in a while, read some jokes, or watch something funny. And even more importantly... Learn not to take yourself too seriously either and see the funny side of the little things in life. Be a child again. <laughs> yeah, I'd go along with that. All good tips. So, is there anything else? Yes, there's what I call getting back to basics. Which means? Just doing simple stuff like reconnecting with old friends, taking the dog for a walk, visiting an art gallery or listening to your favourite music. Enjoy a long, relaxing bath, read a great book, tell your child a story, or ask an older relative to tell you one. <laughs> it's the simplest things in life that often give us the most pleasure. I'm with you on that. And finally, there's just one more thing I'd like to add, and that's about friendship. It may seem a bit obvious, but allow love into your life. The ability to love and be loved is a most basic human quality. As a society, I think we seem to have become disconnected and negative emotions like loneliness, guilt and anger are symptoms of this. So, if you really want to work on making your attitude more positive, find a way to reconnect with people and establish good relationships with them. And again, that seems very reasonable. Well, Chris, it's been very interesting talking to you, but unfortunately, we'll have to end it there. Thanks for joining us. And thank you. It's been a real pleasure.